Yo, what up, good people? I'm glad you are tuned back into the Samaje Show. On this episode, we're talking about the importance of accountability and the purpose of having a solid circle. I definitely need a solid circle around me and I need accountability. I don't care who you are sometimes in life, you know, you get drafted this way, drafted that way, you need somebody to tell you, no, will it back in or don't do that or don't do this. And I have three of those people that are accountability partners for me. These guys are like my brothers, man. They my right hand man. It's like, these are important people to me. I got my brother, Harry. Harry graduated from Howard in 2018 with his bachelor's in philosophy. And he is now getting his JD in Georgetown Law. Like, it's huge. Then I got my brother, Mo. Mo Ways, he graduated from Michigan in 2018 with a BA in international studies. He is now working on his master's um, in public health in Cali, Berkeley. And this dude is entering the NFL draft. Like, that's huge. What person can say their brother's about to be part of the NFL? Like, that's huge. I'm proud of him, man. Last but not least, I got, y'all seen this guy everywhere. He's been on every TV network you can think of, singing with his family, all in Israel, all in Africa, on every stage you can imagine. Trent Shelby, he is a part of the group Shelby 5. Um, he's getting ready to release a clothing line in Title IV. And he just got signed to Rodney Jerkins and Lifestyle Music Groups. So like, all these guys that you see on this panel here, they all doing something. They just ain't sitting at home. They're doing something constructive and doing something with their lives. And um, we're pretty much talking to y'all about the importance of accountability and having a solid circle. In life, no matter who you are, um, Jay-Z even got an accountability partner. Beyonce, any of these people have accountability partners. And I think it's important for everyone to have an accountability partner. So I'm here with my brother, Harry. Um, and Harry, I just want to know, what does accountability mean to you? Accountability is being responsible for one another. Yeah, um, yeah. As brothers, we're supposed to sharpen each other. The Bible says that iron sharpens iron. And so we're always supposed to make sure that we're sharp and that we're on our game. You need people to check you. Yeah. Yes. The, the, even the government has checks and balances. We're supposed to yeah. check each other and make sure that we're doing the right things. Um, the Bible also says that um, in relationships, you shouldn't be unequally yoked. Yeah. And so in, yeah. in, in being yeah. equally yoked in every relationship, you just want to make sure that you're being yeah. accountable for each other. You're talking to each other. You know, They know. Yeah. I'm gonna call you. Yeah. I'm gonna let you know. You know, I expect the same thing. If I'm doing something, don't talk about me behind my back. Call me to my face because you're my brother. Yeah. Exactly. And tell me how you feel yeah. and because then I can fix it. Yeah. Right. Yeah, that's real, bro. That's real. And um, Mo, you know, in life, you have to have people around you that, as they say, level up. You have to have yeah. people around you that you sometimes either are better than you or that can motivate you or inspire you to go forward and influence you. What does a solid circle? Um, means to you, man. I think first off, I think we have one. You know, I think mm -hmm. us four and our, and our other brothers who are not here right now, we got a solid circle. Uh, for me, I don't necessarily want to be the top dog in my circle. Um, right. I wanna, I want my boys to kind of be, you know, higher than me, but I'm still chasing them, and then right. we can switch, and I'm higher, he chasing me. You know, right. I want it to be a constant right. battle of us leveling up to make each other get better and go higher. Absolutely. Um, because I think if you if you the top dog in your circle, you have nothing to strive for. Right. Everybody chasing you. And you pouring out so much, you're not getting enough back. Yeah. That's right. You know what I'm saying? You, you losing more than you gain. Right. And I think it's very important to have guys, like, you know, with music, with, with law, with music, you know, me with football and other boys with, like, you know, other things they're doing. I'm able to learn from y'all in different ways. Yeah, you know, I don't want right. to hang around a bunch of athletes or y'all yeah, hang around a bunch of, you know, singers and things like that because you're not getting no better. Right. And I think uh, the more diverse you can have in your, in your core, in your circle, and, and guys who are, you know, doing more than just music. You went, We all in school. Yeah, you know right. what I'm saying? We all strive in our career and our degree mm -hmm. on top of relationships and yeah, supporting man. our family, you know what I'm saying, and help give it back to the community. You know what I'm saying? We all on the same mission. It might look different, but we're we, we reaching the same goal. Absolutely. Yeah. I think that's very important, man. What's so. the what's the, what's the the uh, phrase? What do you say? Birds are the same. Birds of a feather flock together. together. Yeah, yeah that's, that's what it is. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. That's what it is. Let's say, show me your, show me your friend, I'll show you your future. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, my friends is bright, so my future got to be Come bright. On. <laughs> you know, and they often say who you hang around says a lot about you. Yes, sir. Yeah, so yeah. That, that's one thing, you know, growing up, my dad told me, who you around says a lot about you. So I want to make sure the people I'm around, I mean, y'all see what it say about me. I got a lawyer, a football player, and a, a thriving music artist. I mean, that's that's huge. So yeah. you, you need to have those type of people around you. Yeah. Trent, have you ever been a, a accountability <coughs> partner for anybody? Give us an example of how you were accountability partner for somebody. Uh, Man, I, I feel like I'm um, an accountability partner to everyone sitting up here and, and vice versa. You all are accountability partners for me. Yeah. Um, you know, to me personally, I feel that accountability goes with something else. And what it goes with is adversity. Mm -hmm. um, in order to go through adversity, you got to have somebody that you can lean on. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You got to be able to, um, you got to be able to fall back and be like, man, 
my J, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to make it, bro. Right. You know, but you gotta tell me, no, man, keep pushing. Like it's, this, this is just, this is just a season. You know what I'm saying? This yeah. is a process. Keep pushing, keep pushing, and that goes along with it. Um, it's been numerous of times where you know me and Mo have talked, me and Harry have talked, me and you have talked, where you know we've been at our low points in life. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we didn't right. really uh, know if we would make it out. Uh, didn't really know, you know, how things were going to end up. Actually, me and Mo just had a conversation before he had a breakout game. He scored a touchdown and everything. We were talking. And, you know, and he and he was at a point to where, you know, he kind of felt discouraged um, in that moment because he was like, man, you know, it's really not going how, you know, I thought it would or, right. how, or how it should go. He right. put in the work. He put in the time for everything. Yeah. You know, and he should have been rewarded for it. But, he, but I told him, I'm like, man, it's not over yet. You know what I'm saying? It might look like it is. Um, you know, you got two more games left, man. It might look like it's over. You know what I'm saying? A normal person would be like, yo, this is, you know, it's just case. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But he, at the end of the conversation, he was like, yeah, you know what, Trent, you're right, man. I'm going to keep pushing. That Saturday, he scored his touchdown. Yeah. Everybody was going crazy. Everybody going ballistic, man. I'm seeing it all on Instagram and everything right, like we that. We all were sharing it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so it's, man, it's a process. It's time. You know what I'm saying? Accountability, accountability is something that um, is, you know, it's, it's through your circle and you, you're able to push. Um, your brothers and your sisters, whoever it is, to the next level, man. It's it's very essential to life, very essential to getting to that next level. Last time I, we was home, I was home. We yeah. just had a conversation. We was inside the parking lot for hours, yes, for exactly. hours, yeah, having bro. a conversation, just motivating each other. Yeah. yeah, I think that's so important. And the most genuine talks happen just like by chance. Yeah, yeah. That's spur right. moment. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Spur moment, man. That's, that's like when you really get deep. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, bro. Like people feeling like in their core, and you're like, wow, I didn't know he was going through that, bro. But right. yeah. That comfort, you know what I'm saying, that trust we have between each other, we make it easy to just go ahead and be real. And I think that's huge too, what you just said, um, having that trust. A lot of times, all, all of us have people that watch us. Yeah. Watch you, watch you, watch you. I mean, first of all, you and Mo are pastor kids, so y'all have people yeah, watching y'all yeah, yeah. from that aspect. Yeah, yeah. You working, and in law, there's people watching you, and people are actually waiting for you to mess up. Yeah. So we have to make sure we um crossing our T's and dotting our I's, but I said that to say this, um, you have to be I have to have a group where you can be totally honest with. Yeah. Um, I might not can be honest with everybody and give them my truth or be all that because sometimes, like Bishop said, being transparent, you have to be wise with that because if you tell people every little thing, they'll hold you yeah. against yeah. that and then yeah. that's how they'll use you for the rest, yeah. rest yeah. of your life. And it's like, that was just a season I was in. That ain't me no more. Yeah, I ain't exactly. had that. So you can't explain that to them. But I remember it was times, and I'm telling y'all this, I have told all three of them, you know, I don't, so me singing, I've been singing since I was like four years old. It was always something I wanted to do, something I wanted to go hard at. Um, I will always compare myself to other people where I'd be like, well, I don't know if I'm that good like this person, or I don't know if I'm that good, or I do this and I do that. And I would tell them all the time, like, you know what? I don't want to do it no more. But I know it's times where I went out and I sang, and people came to me like, dang, man, your gift, like, you changed my life. We were just in Washington, and the guy, I didn't have the most CDs, yeah. and the guy came and gave me $50 and told me, like, this is something, ain't no more CDs, but you bless me. And it's like... This man sold out all his CDs yeah. at all, 7 a.m. At 7 a.m. I didn't service. have no more yeah, music. more services. I had three more services and had no more music. And, you know, seeing that, it's like, okay, so much you have a reason. I had told Mo and Trent, this right before I released my single, I said, I don't got nothing going on. And and this is the thing, don't be jealous of people that's close to you. If they doing okay, something bro. that they inspire you. Because let me yeah. say this, Trent does music. Trent has been in the game. Y'all been in the game. Hold on. Bro. 17 years. Yeah, it's been wild, bro. 15, 16 years. I was telling Trent, I remember the uh, when they the album cover the when he had the first one. The black shirt. I remember that first album cover, bro. I think my mama still got that. I remember that first CD. Trent was singing, is there anybody here? Oh, stand up. Yes, bro. Hey, your voice was cool. Kool-Aid smile, boy. Come on, man. But he been in the game for that long. His family, like, they're signed now. They've toured with artists, yada, yada, yada. And these are people that are close to me. And me starting off, I'm building and going there. Um, I'm celebrating my brother. He's going farther and farther, and I'm pushing like, Trent, go for it, go for it. Sometimes yeah. you feel like, dang, what is going to happen for me? But don't let that dang, what is going to happen for no, me, right. turn into like, well, it shouldn't happen for them because it's not happening for me. No, yeah. I want y'all to go far. That's true. Bro. I want it to happen for me, but y'all go far. Yeah. And sometimes you, you look at your life and be like, dang, is it going to happen for me? No, yeah, that's real. And it is. And I was explaining to him, like, sometimes I just don't see it. But I remember Trent was telling me, like, bro, you know how many times we got no or, or, or I got to no? Yeah. It's going to happen in life. You're not going to get a yes every time. And you need those type of people around you that are not yes men. Yeah. Like, well, Macho, those are happen for you tomorrow. Yeah. No, it's, yeah. it's reality. It ain't yeah. going to happen overnight. Yeah. You got to put your work in and do your time. Yeah. And that's the thing, but, bro. Like, we going to take L's. Come on. We're going to take L's. Like, L's, <laughs> take L's are, that's the part of the game. Like, yeah. you got to take L's in order to get 
to, to where you want to get to. Yeah. The yeah. thing is, man, people be so afraid to broadcast their L's. Yeah. Because they don't want people to look at them differently. They don't want people to judge them. I'm, right. My thing is like, yo, I'm going to be authentic and genuine. That L can help somebody. That grow. L can help somebody keep going. No, for real. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I, I know, I was talking to Trent today. We were saying like, guys like P. Diddy. Mm -hmm. I don't want to see this P. Diddy who's successful. Right. Show me the P. Diddy who was 22 years old, hustling. Grinding. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Bro, trying to make a bro. dollar, make a dollar. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, show me that dude because I relate more to him than yeah. I relate to this one right now. Yeah, yeah. bro. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm able to say, okay, well, when I'm 22, you was 22, you was doing this. Okay, let me switch this up and do yeah, what you was doing. exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like, people understand, man, you learn so much from the struggle. Yeah, Like, bro. people don't really relate to the triumph and the glory. They're, they're happy for you and that's good, but people get through when they learn, okay, I see you on a higher stage, you doing well. But you went through But too. you went through the same thing I'm going through yeah. right now, so I can make it out. Yeah. Yeah, like, bro, yeah. L's are a part of the journey, man. It's it's so many blessings, lessons, and and and, and so much so much beauty in the L's you take, man, bro. And that's I, the process. Yeah. Yeah. I, I want to say this too, man. And, you know, and, and and to piggyback off you, Mo, it's it's oftentimes, man, a lot of people can see their dreams, right? They they they, they see it, you can visualize it, but you really sometimes don't add in the struggle to it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, right. You like you see you see where you want to be. You see you performing in front of thousands. You see you performing at uh you know at Dallas Cowboys Stadium or whatever. Boom boom. But it's like you don't see what it takes to get there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The dream is just the story, but it's yeah. not it's not the struggle. Exactly. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And so like that's man, keep that's pushing good. whoever whoever it is that's watching this, keep pushing man because you know what I'm saying like like he's told you Man, I, I, we've been through a lot through the 17 years that we've been uh, singing, man. I, we've been in meetings um, where they had our names on Coca-Cola bottles with pictures and all this saying, oh, yeah, this is going to be in stores and this, that, and third. I mean, with big record executives. Yeah. And it never came to pass. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, you're going to get, get told no. Yeah. That's going to happen. Actually, the no is where you grow from. Yeah. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, like yeah. yes, it's cool. Yes, it's all right. It's good. It's Gucci. You know what I'm yeah. saying? We rolling. Yeah. But no is where you like. What I gotta do to get a yes? That, yeah. that make you look inside. Come and on. you know what, too? Even sometimes I'm learning, and this is what I'm learning now, and I learned this from Mama. Um, I thank God for my spiritual parents, Bishop Don W. Shelby and First Lady Shelby. Thank God for my regular parents, too. And First Lady had took me to her office. She told me, You have to put your time in and you have to serve. And I, you know, yeah. you always want a yes, and you always want a yes at that moment. But I'm when looking back on it, a a year ago, that's Samaj, I couldn't handle the the life of being super, super successful being an artist. Because I, I'm, I'm going to be 100. Um, for some reason, I used to go to Facebook and, they, and try to, you know, make statuses and make my point across about what irritated me or what drove me crazy. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it was people like them that told me, bro, social media, that's not the place for you to go vent to. Like, that's yeah. out of order. Yeah. That's what we you saw. can't, you, you, yeah. you can't, you can't yeah. do that. And call yourself being an artist. You can't you can't do that and call yourself wanting to be an influencer or you having a clothing brand and years later you're going back looking like this dude was already saying any and everything. Yeah. But that's the purpose of accountability saying you can't do that. And oftentimes we get on social media, letting our whole life spill and let it yeah. all out. Yeah. I, I'm learning that ain't the place. So y'all won't catch me ever doing that again. But I'm thinking if I would have got a yes about me doing music back then or got got signed or something like that. That could have ruined it, and then I, that would have been short lived. Yeah, yeah. And then that wouldn't have had no longevity to it because I got that yes at the wrong time. So uh, a, a yes at the right time is important. So I'm learning to appreciate a no. You know, it don't feel yeah. good. I, I ain't going to hold you no, up. No, people acting like a no. Yeah. It, oh, yeah, I got a no. Yes. Yeah, it, it don't hurt. feel good. Hurt. It hurt. It hurt. hurt. That just 100. But I needed to get that no to get yes. And I'm finding myself now being a little bit more consistent in my everyday life, saying, like, I got to know, it don't feel good, but I'm going to keep pressing. I'm going to keep pushing. And you, like, God, he'll, and I ain't trying to be deep, but he'll give you, like, clues and signs, like, no, you're going to be doing this in the future. Like, oh, yeah. He'll, yeah. he'll give yeah. you his, oh, like, on. because yeah. certain certain places I've been or my feet have tread, it's not just the average person that went and just right. sung. Yeah, yeah. No, so yeah. it's like, no, I'm, you're going to do this, but I'm taking my time developing you because I've had opportunities. I'd be like, well, I, I, I met this or I, I rubbed shoulders yeah, this bro. person or been yeah. in that meeting, yeah. but it's God is showing you, like, you keep going, you keep going. And making me strong. Man, so the it, pressure is what, is what molds you. Like the pressure is what yeah. really creates you. And like that's why you have to go through so many things. And my teacher actually said this. He said, my professor, he said, submit to the process. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And I didn't understand at the moment because I was frustrated just because like in law school is just difficult. And this I have a professor, he he wild, but yeah. <laughs> um, 
he says submit to the process because we we see ourselves at the end yeah. so quickly. Like we, we go in with the end in mind. Like we begin with the end in mind. Like this is where we want to go. And that's a good thing. You're yeah, always bro. supposed to see mm-hmm. where you're going. Right. But you have to understand that there's a process. And rather than fighting against it and saying, woe is me. God, why am I going through all this? Appreciate your struggle. Because mm-hmm. you know that pressure that's being applied to you is going to make you. It's going to shape you. It's gonna You're going to end up being a better person because of it. You're going to realize so much more. I think like going off to school is just difficult. Yeah, like, and, and you know, like you know, it te- it tests like it tests you, like it's on just every you. level. It's just yeah. you, emotionally, yeah. spiritually, mentally. Yeah. You're you're really tested, and so I love the fact that I went off because I was put under so much pressure. But now I know that I'm more mature. Mm. I'm smarter. I'm better. I'm more spiritual. I have a greater connection because of all the pressure that was applied. Mm. You know, it really I was able to become who I really am. So check this out. So, you know, when I'm going through the through the through the hard times. You know, I turn to see, okay, who in the Bible can I relate to? Yeah. Like, who going through this that I'm going through right now that I can lean, lean on for help? Yeah. Joseph, bro. Joseph went from the pit to the palace. Come on, come on, come on Doc. Come right. on, Reverend. But come on, Bishop. People, 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 <laughs> people <up>. forget that <laughs> that if that pit never happened, mm-hmm. he would have never ended up in Egypt. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Come on, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, at the time, being in the pit, Joseph was like, man, I'm in the pit. Like, why am I here? Mm-hmm. I'm about to die. What's going on? But that was God setting him up to be Come on, on top yeah. of Egypt. So when I look at myself, I say, okay, I'm in the pit right now. Come things on. not going well. No, things are going real. hard. Uh-huh. But I think about the Joseph, I say, okay, I'm in my pit right now. Yeah. So if 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 God took Joseph from the pit to the palace, yeah. he could take me from the pit to the palace too. Bro, I, you know what look, I'm saying? I was literally just...